Hello. Finally getting to, s to play Subnautica Below Zero. The full release. It's been so long <laughs> since I got this game. Finally getting to play it. I mean, that technically I could have played it all, all the time before, but I didn't want to play it in early access. I wanted to play the full thing. Underwater hype. Yep. Look at all these cute penguins. Spoiler, there is water. Yes. There are, in fact, three forms of water on this screen alone. And fish. Well, see, but there aren't... You can't see any fish, so that's definitely a spoiler. Oh, wait. I guess that right there. All right. Let's play. Start new game. Survival. I wonder if they made the hardcore, like, better? Because in, in original Subnautica, um, you never wanted to play... Um, in original Subnautica, there were so many glitches that could just kill you that hardcore was just not worth playing. Like, you could literally fall through the world, you could, uh, um, take damage from small falls, step outside of your base, and have the game not process that you're in water, and so you fall to your death, because your base is high up. Survival. The loading bar is a penguin. Oh my god. <laughs> it hops forward when the bar moves enough, and then when it reaches the end, it trips and falls. I know Robin's voice. I know that voice actress, for sure. I'm not sure what from. But also, apparently, we have a name and actual voice lines. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is No problem. Smooth landing. to pause it sounds a little loud and also i i have to look up i know this voice i know her voice let me look up subnautica below zero robin's voice kimberly brooks she doesn't look familiar but Um, 
She's been in a lot. Oh, she voices a character in Shadowlands, so that's probably where I know her voice. She voiced a character in Spider-Man Miles Morales, but just as additional voices. Oh, she's Jasper from Steven Universe. Senna from League of Legends, okay. She's been in a lot of things, and I kind of know her from some of from a lot of them. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm sure this is super exciting to watch, but I just had to know. Yeah, there's nothing like oh, I know this is where I know her voice from. Just lots of things where it's like, oh, yeah, I've probably heard her in that. Oh, she's Stacy Fitzroy in uh, Bioshock Infinite. She's, that's where, oh my god. Okay, so she's Ashley Williams. Uh, it just says additional voices for Shadowlands, so I don't know which character. But that's, that is where I'm recognizing her voice. She's Ashley Williams from Mass Effect. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Back to the game. Uh, survival. Venture mode. Xeno worker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Hang on. Uh, maybe I should get to cover first. Hello. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the Ow. water. Oh, it's a warming flower so that the cold doesn't... Yeah, that's what the big gauge is. Temperature gauge. Okay, now I can look at this. Well, there we go. Well, to Adventure Mode Xeno Worker, you've arrived in the Arctic climate. Great exhibition begins. Xeno Works PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs since you have downloaded the Arctic Survival Almanac. It will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventurers, your advice will also record observations and findings you make. Treat to safe environment. Mr. First aid if required. Eh, we're fine. Treat emergency supplies available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Fire and construct a reliable ha habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment. Look at other survivors. Maintain physical and psychological health. This morning service is cold weather climates. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Okay. Wearing a sanitary issue suit. Bodies of may provide safety from extreme cold. Okay. Expect deep tours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch, toasty hot beverage if possible. Can't say there's enough layers. Vesting quality cold suit. Certain to pay dividends and warmth and safety. Remember when in doubt, don't go out. Alright, standard suit. Oh, wait, do we have... Oh, no, we probably don't actually have the... Yeah, we don't have the scanner. We just know about it. Okay. Repair tool, okay. Fabricator, habitat builder, solar panel. Yeah, we just have these blueprints, got it. Start out with the Glide blueprint, nice. Future of Xenoworks. Hey there, Xenoworker. I know there's been lots of rumors circulating, so I just want to clear some stuff up. In the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us here, first of all, no, Altera did not buy us. We're still Xenoworks. We're not going to move offices or start having kind of hierarchical structure even like making you show up on site or anything like that well you should for the snacks alone <laughs> still the scrappy agile research first startup oh no what is controlling controlling stake i have read things like this before oh this is a lie this paragraph right here is a lie Yeah, more equipment, more crash. Yeah, we're definitely just, just yes, more, more, more of the good stuff. None of the bad stuff. More good, less bad. Yeah, no. Then we'll be in touch pretty soon about exchanging your old, old gen PDAs for Sinai's new Altera upgrades. Yeah. Lurk to make waffles already. I'll be comfy with some really minor policy changes. Yeah, minor. Congratulations. Do this together, and we'll do so much more. Yeah. 
DRMS AU on behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B Robotics Section Leader, Andrew Cormack, President of Altera Transgov, ready to inform you of the death of Samantha IU. Oh! Rel oh, sister, okay. I was going to say relative, spouse. She died on Planet 4546B, regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Uh huh. That's the kind of thing you want to put in a letter, right? In a notice of death. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive con contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin in regards to repayment of damages and legal fees. Jesus. If you have any questions, you may file a form, da da da, and your career will be addressed in sequential order. Good. God. I appreciate that the drop pod starts out as orange instead of blue. So it's easier to see. I like the, like, sizzling from this. It's very soothing. Oh, okay. That was a big old circle. Oh, wait. Nutrient block. Tried to use E to pick it up. <laughs> Been playing too much Slime Rancher. Is there anything else I can salvage from this? No. Oh, but it's burning, so it provides heat. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello. Ah, uh, we're going to have to go in the water to get to the drop pod. Yes, it landed in the water. Nope, didn't make it. Okay. All right, so you don't have to worry about temperature underwater. You just have to worry about your oxygen. Got it. Okay. Bladder fish, hoop fish, peeper. It's the the tentacle things that appeared in the, the the concept art, but never appeared in the game. That's cool. Whoop. There we go. New creature discovered. Whoa! Oh, it's the penguin. Hello, penguin. Synthesized. Come here, hoop fish. New creature discovered. All right, I'll get that later. Oxygen. Whoa. Hey, Coma. Are some shorts on? Found the drop pod. Okay, nothing well, in storage. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Right. Her voice, yeah, she's uh, she's voiced by the same person whose voice is Ashley. I, I looked her up after hearing her because I know I recognized it. She's voiced by the same person who voices Ashley in Mass Effect. She also voices, the actress voices a ton of characters and a ton of things. Um, you actually like, like it now? Oh, her voice. Yeah, I think because it didn't it change. It was like someone else's voice initially. Got a new, uh... Oh, good lord. 
We did not have all of these before. Okay. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as pacemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Uh, I didn't know her voice changed several times. I knew I knew it changed at least once. I, I remember I, I avoided as much of this game as I possibly could, but I still heard some people talk about it. And I know at one point there was like a big overhaul on, on the direction of the game. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera. I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the Stargy Tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Even the swear is probably relevant after the Hall of Storm is sealed. I appreciate that. I am, uh, I am planning to ban anyone who comes in and starts talking about I stuff. To Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian and hello to spy penguins. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you getting to work in a small place where you have control over your research. All right. I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Yeah, ten year ban, show no mercy. <laughs> hey, Robin! I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey! The nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penglings found... Something. Something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead. Bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job. My safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. Sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. So, Sam definitely found signs of intelligent life. And 
Altera shut her up and purchase Xenoworks. Oh. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry. My last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But uh, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. She's looking for alien cheeks? I, I think she's just surveying the planet and found something. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen Leviathan oh. that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, oh, that's treats, bad. A whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Uh. What's going on? Oh, a storm. Actual weather. Okay, well, I'm going to go down before I get struck by lightning. <laughs> All right, uh, first things first, consume. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, so we need to find titanium. Ah, there we go. Break limestone. Should be able to use this. Nice. I don't think we're going to find scrap metal. Like in the first game. Everything is so colorful? Yeah. Subnautica is a beautiful, beautiful game. And Below Zero seems to be uh, following right along with that. Oxygen. Oxygen. So are these acid mushrooms? Can I pick it up? No, I can't pick it up. All right, so we got creep vine. What are you? Oh. You're you're Leviathan shaped. Sea monkey? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Galena deposit. Oxygen. Swim faster. I definitely feel like the swim speed got reduced. And tubey. Yeah, there are a lot of a lot of tubes. Keep him safe, Flare. I'm 
probably not gonna do that. <laughs> At least he doesn't seem hostile. Riven plant. Ah, these are the acid mushrooms. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Surface, please. Oh, man, the swim speed. <laughs> I need to make a sea glide ASAP. But at least I, I should be able... Oh, no, I need rubber to make fins, don't I? Well, first things first, let's make a scanner. Two ribbon plants and a copy. So yeah, so ribbon plants are the new uh, acid mushrooms. All right, I have a scanner. Okay. Fiber mesh for an O2 tank. Oh, do I not have the recipe for a sea glide? I thought I did. Hmm. At least I can scan things now. Oh, scanning is so much faster. doing the full playthrough all in one sitting? No, probably not. This is definitely going to be a pretty long stream. Oh god. You surface much slower just by holding spacebar now. Um, this is definitely going to be a very long stream, but I don't think I can do the whole game in one sitting. Twenty-four hour stream? No. Oh, it's a snowstorm. That's gonna make orienting myself a lot harder. <laughs> okay, it looks like if you're scanning something that's just like uh, uh, flavor, it scans really fast. Okay, I need to figure out how to get rubber. Where did the sea monkey go? Oh, there's one. I want to scan that. Oh, oh, no, some of the wildlife down here is very no, you 
You jerk! Give me! How rude! <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that though. They're not they're not dangerous, they just steal your shit. Ah, uh, whatever. Why don't any of these creep vines have seed pods? There's some, Jesus. Oxygen. Nope. You're not stealing my stuff. It's like a real monkey in a zoo. They're really cute. I like them. I like them a lot. And I think it, it's such a perfect opportunity. The first time you're scanning one, it, it takes your scanner. That's, that's really good. Ah. Peepers are too fast. Oxygen. I say, and then that one just like glitches out and lets me catch it. New creature discovered. Come on, get the bladder fish. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, we need some water. Oh, I don't like that drinking sound near as much as the original game's drinking sound, that's for sure. Okay, so we need silicon rubber. We should be able to make a survival knife now? Yes. And then swim fins also take silicon rubber, so let's make some more. Big slurps. <laughs> this needs to be on two. I appreciate that it shows the battery power as a little bar here. That's a really nice quality of life improvement. I don't care about the rest of those. To just just clip it right through your hand, no problem. Okay. No. Hmm. Let's actually real quick make some lubricant in case that gives me the recipe for the sea glide. Nope, okay. Uh, personal log. Oh. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. In goes a battery in titanium, out comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. 
This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Okay, so we don't start out with the, uh, the Sea Glide blueprint. Alright. Nope, it's getting to be nighttime. But we do have the fins, so we swim faster now. That's good. All Terra supply cache nearby. Ah! I also appreciate that we have an actual amount of storage at the beginning. Oh. That's too high up for me to climb. Let me... There we go. Bye bye light. Ah, oh, jeez. Is that Titan whole fish? That's cool. Can I swim through it? Replenish oxygen? Ow! Was that a penguin? Did you attack me? You jerk. Nope. Oxygen. All right, I'm going to try and swim through the... Yes, you can. You can swim through the whole fish. Okay. <laughs> the whole fish hit me? I don't have a light. That's the problem. This is what hit me, isn't it? Brine wing. Yeah, I think that's what hit me. I don't feel safe here because I can't see anything. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, creep fine. Yeah, I'm not... I need... I need to be able to see before I go swimming out there. All right, I think the sun's coming up soon. Ooh, sea glide fragment. Okay. So there are still fragments. Well, that's a that's a deep hole. Oxygen. Yeah. 
God, night always feels like it lasts forever in this game. Ten out of ten game. It's pretty good so far. I honestly can't tell if the moon is going up or coming down. Oh. There's the sun. Okay. It's still dark, but... See, no, this is this is too friggin' dark. Stop. You're not taking my stuff. Am I gonna have to actually just get a flashlight? Ooh, salt. Because it doesn't really feel like this place is getting any easier to see in. Okay, no, there we go. It's brightening up. Oh, creature eggs. Okay. Oh. Oh, rude. Uh, okay. Very rude. Oxygen. Do you already have Yeah, I already have the black flashlight blueprint. I just never bothered to make a flashlight. Oh, he's frozen. God. Okay, these Brine things are bad. Brinelings. Mineral detector. Neat. Nope, you... Give me that back, you jerk. New blueprint synthesized. Give it back. Whoa, that Oxygen. was cool. Hey, Sin, how's it going? <laughs> Horror show? Yeah. <laughs> The sea monkeys steal your shit. Can I? I can pick up the beacon. Use I'll take it. To mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks EDA. Now with surface support. Oh. Oh, the flares scare them. They don't want to steal my flares. Heard about that? How are you enjoying this? It's been pretty good so far. Hey, Carrie. It has been Subnautica, but in a different location. And that's exactly what I wanted. So it's it's been exactly what I've wanted so far. Also, the, uh, the character that I'm playing as, 
has actual like voice lines and dialogue. Uh, let me let me play one of her lines, and I'll see if you can um, uh, if you can recognize her voice. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos Five. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. What are you? Symbiote? You're what bit me. Oh, you can't hold them for long. That's not Blake. No, it's not Blake. It's um it's Ashley from Mass Effect 3 or from Mass Effect. Ashley Williams. Yeah, I had to look her up to to figure it out, but I knew I recognized her voice as soon as she said something. I was like, "Wait a minute. I know that voice." Speaking of Mass Effect, <laughs> did you get the Legendary Edition? Vital signs stabilizing. Proximity detector, look at mineral fragments. Minerals, fragments, and... Ooh. Yes. Okay. What all do I need to make it? Battery, copper wire, silicon rubber. Gonna start digging into it today. Nice. I'm probably gonna have to. Uh, well, I'm. I'm not gonna pick it up until I finish below zero. This is gonna take all of my attention. Neat. Oh! Oh, okay. You left click to hold. Oh, it's right there. I'm blind. Oxygen. Since the graphics engine has really been polished, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Alright, let's get some fiber mesh, because I need that to make a uh, um, oxygen tank. That's what I meant to do as soon as I got the knife, but then I got distracted with finding fragments. Synthesized. This detector is going to be so damn useful. Also, I like that I'm like actually holding the med kit for no reason.
Nice. Really? The standard oh. oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Okay. So I need battery lubricant, copper wire. Get these out of here. I need uh, battery things. Okay, yeah, that can't search for. Oh, wait. Crop. Table coral. No, not table coral. Alright. How's work going? How's Mary Beth? She's good. Um, I'm soon getting my schedule changed so that I am off work Fridays and working Mondays, which means I will no longer be working with the weekend crew, thank God. Um, Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, oh. oh. Wait, is that the, the whole fish? Ooh. Oh, oh, neat. Yeah, yeah, I'm am, I am definitely looking forward to that sea monkey nest. Oh, they take your stuff back here, I bet. If you don't catch them, they take it back to a nest. Um, but yeah, we're, we're all looking forward to me being on Mondays because as it stands, Mary Beth and Sarah are very, uh, very screwed on Mondays because we're so short staffed. Um, all right. I need the battery plants. Always such efficient scheduling, yeah. They made a lot of scheduling changes recently that... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Ah! Well, at least I can grab the cave sulfur. Um... They made a lot of scheduling changes recently that made things a lot worse <laughs> and was also insulting because I'd asked to be taken off of Fridays six months ago and then they changed a bunch of other people's schedules first. Oh, there's the giant hole fish. I wanted to see it in daytime. It is these 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 things. These are what are are doing it. New creature discovered. Oh, I actually was able to hold it that time. The last one got away. Sounds right, it doesn't seem shit to carry, she's still in the office. Oxygen. Yeah, I I really wish, I, I know that you, you said keep an eye out for if they uh, have a position open, but they they told us they were looking into hiring someone soon, and then never ever ever got back to us we've heard nothing else since then i i don't think we're ever gonna hire anyone not unless they're friends with the manager
It's so frustrating. Okay, I already missed the fact that acid mushrooms were everywhere and easy to grab. Because the battery plants now are, like, few and far between. I have enough for a battery. Let's get a sea glide. Oh. You can you can eat the symbiotes. Weird. Okay. Well, I don't want to eat the symbiote. Oh wait, that was crystalline sulfur, not cave sulfur. I guess there's no difference between them now. Good to know. Copper wire. Finally, a sea glide. The sea glide is a personal transportation device. Takes up less room. I appreciate that. Yes. Oh, it still starts out with the stupid map up. Oh, the map is a separate button. Oh, that's beautiful. The map's a separate button, so you're no longer spamming right-click to get rid of it. Look at this. Now we're moving. Table coral. Warning, passing one hundred meters. That's fine. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh. Stress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Well, we can't go that deep. Not yet, anyway. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I heard that. Hi. Uh, you okay, buddy? Oxygen. I don't think he's okay. I think he's very angry. Okay. Mild panic. What is that? Whoops. Okay, here's another Altera cache. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Give me that. Go up to the surface, and then we'll continue investigating.
This seems safe. That was definitely a lightning strike. I don't need to keep scanning fragments of stuff I don't need. Alright, I should be scanning these. There's the shark. Oh, there's multiples. There's a bunch of them. What the hell was that? That was a new sound. Was that it? I thought that was just one of the sharks. I think it's something separate. Oxygen, please. I don't like how deep that is. Suchus. I think we should leave. <laughs> I think we should leave. I think we should go. I don't like it, Flare. I don't like it either. <laughs> okay. Let's... Let's take a look at some of these creature things. Oh. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B? <laughs> no. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. I wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. I think it's just safer if I go back to my uh, my little pod here before reading up on stuff. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Problem is, it's like 200 meters below the surface, and also you didn't give me a map marker for it. I've already forgotten where it was. Table coral. Carnivores. Brine wing. Okay. Medium sized predator known to spit super cold salt water to freeze its prey from afar. So 
fills the seawater that swims. Some water is filtered out through an internal membrane. Two flat tra So if you swim behind them, you'll get messed up too. Oh, no, no. The water is filtered out, leaving behind a strong. Okay. Two flat transparent expendable fins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. And then can then contract the splatter, expelling super cooled brine, freezing salt water. Helplessly encased in a block of ice. Okay. Brain shark. Common shark like predator with low intelligence. Relatively streamlined body enables fast navigation. No turquoise coloration provides camouflage. Slow moving. Okay. Minor threat. Yeah. It was pretty easy to avoid. Prasuchus. Large shark like beast, easily identifiable by its carapace of thin bony plates. Structure of these plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption. Thermal vents, belt itself with wide webbed flippers that displace massive amounts of water. Ripposuchus is a bit of a contradictory creature despite its fearsome appearance. It's more roar than bite. Territorial tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once, so you can hit them once and they'll leave you alone. Likely a form of agnostic posturing. Aggressive faunas tend to avoid fights if the probability of injury is too high. Avoid, but can be handled in a pinch. Got it. Penguin! Creature hunts small fish below the water, huddles and packs in the ice above. Some small prey fish regurgitates them for its young. Tractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion. Underwater predators, maximum grip on ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside beak can tear out chunks of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs the surface break against cold. Less cuddly than they look. <laughs> Symbiote. Small fast predator to nest inside the hole of a tight, tight hole fish and defends them at all costs. That's why. If you get too close to a titan hole fish, or if you get auction from them, these things come out and attack you. Be mostly an overconfident predators. Expending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike the targets, dependent on receiving additional warmth and oxygen from the titan hole fish. Lay their eggs inside the gills of the titan hole fish. Waste left behind is absorbed by the titan, constituting all the nutrients it needs to survive. Catch or neutralize to approach the titan hole fish. Or just Go fast. <laughs> Arctic ray. Some ray species. Two sets of wing-like fins. Enable the ray to quickly change direction and accelerate. Other ray exclusively her herbivorous, harmless. Sea monkeys. Great interest in other life forms in their possessions. Wing-like appendages. Arctic white crest. Almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Seem to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest. Investigate with caution. Large docile herbivore, which mix oxygen, is defended by small aggressive symbiotes. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Excuse me? Can I attack it with a knife and get meat? <laughs> Complex gills line the inside of the hole, drawing water in, emitting warm, oxygen-rich water in its place. Tax symbiotes, which makes the whole fish their home. Migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients. Titan whole fish evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting. Exists in some permanent state of unreflective calm, swimming forward on impulse, fully trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Valuable oxygen source if you can reach it. <laughs> Big stupid hole fish, yep. Fast prey fish, can't flush against ice. Fast and relatively intelligent, so in large numbers. Don't like the auto generated names, suggest ice clops. Bladder fish. Yeah. Seek fluid intake. Boomerang.
Those are its butt, apparently. Poop fish! And then lots of flora. Creep vine, creep vine seeds. Okay, so all these are... Yeah, I can, I can read all those later. Oh, had I not picked up a boomerang? Come here. Let's make some water. You know what? I'll grab the symbiote too. Uh, let's get some more food. I'm gonna go onto the surface, and uh, I get the impression that food is not gonna be common up there. That's a cool effect, the hail coming through the water. I appreciate that you don't put the scanner away while you run. to scan here. Oh, water and a flare. Oh, I guess I should have gone all the way along here and gotten all this stuff. Well, I didn't know.
That just leads back that way. I guess, is there not really that much that I can explore? I can't get through there. I thought there'd be more surface. It is cold. Thank you. There is definitely not more surface. Got it. Underwater we go. Frost anemone. Oh. Okay. Uh, oxygen is a problem. No, you're one of the brine things. Get away from me. Oxygen. I want to keep an eye on that and make sure, see how fast it, it rots. Oh, these are symbiotes, but not hostile symbiotes. Nope, they're definitely hostile. <laughs> Jerk. God, I thought that was blood kelp at first, and I was like, did I already find the worst place? No. No. Dude, I will slash you. You know what I haven't done in a while is save, <laughs> or like, done in a while, what I haven't done at all is save.
Oh, it's a frozen... Frozen pangling. Poor guy. I know I'm not exactly making a lot of progress right now. But... I'm just kind of exploring and trying to do so safely. All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station Dock. Ah. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Oh, okay. When she says Lil, I think she means her sister, as in like little sister. Maybe. Or maybe Lil is someone else. Oh no, Lillian. Okay, that's that's Lil. That's a long way away. Okay, I remember this place. Um... Ooh, that, okay. Let's go ahead and eat that. It's probably a pangling egg. Alright. Save. Let's go. I don't know the roars of this game, so I don't know if... Oh, no! Okay. Alright. So I don't know if those roars are... okay or not. <laughs> The Roar Terror returns. Is that lithium? It's lithium. Oh, there's like tunnels here. Oxygen. Oh shit. Radiant Civ Coral. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Okay. Wait, is that a dead one? Oh no, it's alive. It is for sure alive. Oh, that's a new creature. Rock Puncher. Please punch rocks. Please punch a rock. Please don't punch me. Oxygen. Larry. Whoa, there's like a, a thing up there. Oh. 
Oh, beacon. I'll actually leave that beacon. Coffee vending machine, yes. Oh, temperature is a problem. Uh, okay, this horns me up real quick. Waffles was too much effort, so you made toast with the bread. Nice. Ooh, lilies. Warm me with your beautiful glow. Put cocoa powder on one, not sure how you feel about it. That could be good. But welcome back, welcome back. You have missed uh, some rather alarming moments. Let's see what's up at this uh, Altera site. Honeycomb fungus. There's your swimsuit. <laughs> you need more than a swimsuit here. Oh, 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 there's sky rays. Hello. Cave lilies, please. Thank you. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I think we can go this way. I guess we do go into the cave. Oh god. I've already got the mineral detector. I don't need to scan that. Ooh, crystalline sulfur. PDA. Wait, did I not have a new... I'm confused. What did I just pick up? Stay on dry land. <laughs> Plan on swimming in below zero water with the three piece suit Timberlands on. <laughs> uh, I guess it's this. Manual gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing, said I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary minerals. What? Well, you also told me to keep it on the down low. This is what a mass certificate in plug geology gets you these days. The job is a glorified construction worker. Okay, manual, though, I don't know what he did to the scanner, but does a great job zeroing on specific minerals. Nice. Oh, I should have scanned that. The crystalline sulfur. Oh, I can scan this one. My inventory's starting to fill up. I'm gonna stop grabbing stuff. Too much drip. It's just how to use floss in a sentence correctly. Isn't floss just that dance? Like one of the Fortnite dances? Whoa! I like her. <laughs> 
If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! She modified a prawn suit. Also, cutscenes in the game, good to know. Bye, lady. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. I mean, lady, I'm definitely just going through all your shit, just so you know. I cannot be taught. Wrong definition, Flare. You don't recognize her voice, Flare? Uh, the suit lady? Uh, it kind of sounded familiar. But I have no idea. Jukebox? <laughs> For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder? Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle? You three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Uh, the chairs are so low because they're half buried in ice and snow. Neat. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam works. Oh. Okay. Fred's bed. <laughs> Gee, that's what my bed looks like most of the time. <laughs> Tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially, if you can even call what I have a career. But I can swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Is it acceptable to put syrup on toast? Absolutely. That's called French toast. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't, I don't need to hide those. behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. <laughs> Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. 
Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. They got infected. Under the circumstances. Didn't they? I expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry. I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> Is it impossible to eat anything? Oh, wait. I need to get to heat. Was it warm in here? Yes. Is it, it's impossible to eat anything that's syrup without getting sticky. This is true. You know that guy's voice? Yeah, he definitely sounded familiar. I think we're going to be hearing a lot more of this crew. I think they got infected. He said he thought he was seeing things for a while. Yeah, I think the crew got infected with the Kara. Back to lurk because allergies acting up. Alrighty. she set up must belong to one of those higher uppers I want one Can't deactivate it. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be directed to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Sam really got under management's skin. I know she had it in her. David, You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months, and then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Was that a breakup letter? Putting ties in space. God, my head doesn't move when I run. Oh, that's that looks so wrong. <laughs> the completely stationary head. No, 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 come back, Sky Ray.
So active human life forms detective. Oh, there's, okay, so there's only me and the other lady. Oh, I'm freezing. I need to get somewhere warm. Otherwise, habitat construction vehicle activity detected. Recommend observe and prepare for possible intervention. Oh my god, I have to go around. She runs like she's an Overwatch. Yeah, it's it's to keep it's it's. Oh, I didn't have to go around. I'm an idiot. Um, I definitely get like you know the camera is tied to the head, and you don't want the the head bob. That's super annoying. Employee training is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is fully functional, simulated version of live mode. Test mode, all communications to tower, including distress signal security alerts, will be disabled. To initiate test mode, so the test override module in the diagnostic port is depicted in the diagram on the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Can I remove the test override module? It appears I cannot. Okay, it doesn't really seem to be anything else up here. Though, shouldn't there be more habitats? Because there were like, there were several people. We've only seen places for three of them. So maybe they didn't all live over here. <laughs> no! Damn it. Why must you fly? Away from me. I mean you no harm. I just want to scan you. Alright, let's warm up before we uh, make the trek down. Oh, that was just... Builder Fragment. Now we can start building habitats. Excellent, okay. Battery charger. Man, we are learning all kinds of blueprints now. Uh. Trying to fall down safely? Ow. Sploosh. Ooh, you're new. So are those noises. New creature discovered. Okay. I don't like those noises. Stop moving so much. Okay, so the pilot last known location is definitely um, way too far down for me to go without a vehicle.
the hell? Fuma roll. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt transco vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Jesus. Are you what I'm hearing? I think so. Oh, Jesus. You, you bitey enough there, buddy? Okay, I think these are what I'm hearing. Okay, so we found a ship. I would very much like to go inside the ship. Everything's good. Ah, oh, metal salvage. Okay. Drink, drink. Okay, so we can find metal salvage. Is there a way in? There is a way in, okay. Let's go back up and get some oxygen. Great music. Yeah, I'm definitely looking to uh, pick up the soundtrack after this stream. I thought there was a way in. Oh jeez. Okay. No, I don't have I don't have the tools. Oh, that was just a straight up titanium ingot. Okay. Oh, it's a spine fish. Wait. Let me scan you. Okay, I don't... I can't explore this. I don't have the oxygen. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we'll have to come back here later. Um, I don't have a beacon for this, do I? No. That's unfortunate. What are you? Oh, you're the feather fish. Well, I don't need you. Drop, drop, drop. Whoops. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm actually thinking this might not be a bad place to, uh, 
build a base to make it more easy to explore. All right, let's head back. And we'll make a habitat builder. And then come back here, if I can remember how to get here. Ooh, okay. I'm not here to bother you, Rock Puncher. But yeah, if I can remember how to get back here, I'll come back and build a base. Because there's lots of titanium around. Could you all chill? They're so loud for being so small. It makes me think that they're uh, a much bigger threat. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Home sweet home. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. She was stubborn. Like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster. Less... Play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... Try to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like, I need to say, which woman? And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her, or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Okay. Rock Puncher, large station feeds on tiny larvae. Attracted to glow larvae found in and around deep sea rock formations, hardened chitin claws, can thrust forward, close the speed of sound. It's a giant uh, mantis shrimp. Known to attack larger creatures which, which threaten its territory, so you don't get too close to them. With the adapted cave environment, six legs here to walls, compel short distances, heavily armored, void or redirect with food. Okay. Discus fish. I didn't grab one of these. I should have. Algae or other plant matter serve as nutritious prey for other large creatures. That colorful appearance and lack of real defense mechanisms survive mostly by virtue of the relative agility. Okay. 
Feather fish, common species that lives in various biomes. Coloring is distinct, but also functional. Bright white of its belly. Help keep it safe from predators below. Blending in with sunlight coming through the surface of the water. Spine fish, we all know. Edible, low calorie count. Honeycomb fungus is exploitable. Whole nutrients from the soil. So, can I eat them? Jukebox. <laughs> Thermos. Insulated storage. Oh, so you can have a hot beverage to warm you up. Whole fish onion rings. Okay, I need wiring kit, computer chip, battery. Thermoblade. Ooh, I need to make one of those. Actually, I can make that right now. Oh, wait, no, I need a modification station for that. Yeah. Um, battery charger, wiring kit, copper. Okay, that's that's no problem. Jukebox speaker. <laughs> okay, so first off, we need to make wiring kit, computer chip. Wiring kit. How much silver have we got? I will need one more silver. And then to make a computer chip, two table coral and a gold. I do have a gold, right? No, I don't. Okay. I should eat in the peeper first. All right. Uh, ooh, okay, I need to make another battery. I don't have any copper. Ah. Well, there we go. How did I end up with two batteries with no charge? Okay, so I need to figure out how to get gold. Did I scan something? Minerals. Lead and titanium. Calaverite is what I'm looking for. I have no idea what it looks like. It doesn't have a picture. But we're looking for a calaverite deposit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's just see light fragments. I don't see any deposits in here at all.
Table coral. I do need table coral. Ooh, mobile vehicle bay. Sea truck fragment. One out of three. Now we don't need. It's quartz. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, there's a... Okay. Alright, I'm starting to recognize what the Galena outcrops look like. Oh, hi. But what I need is Calavera. Kelp root. No, it's not a it's not a helpful plant. This is dangerous. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Root pustule. Oxygen. Contains highly reactive compounds. Hello, giant whole fish. Oh, hello. Beacon? But I've already got that one, don't I? Yeah. I don't need all these flares. Get rid of those. <laughs> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Saying your pods kamikaze fish, yeah. Ah, uh, all right. Well, that's why I got the new battery. <sighs> Propulsion cannon fragment. Oh, there were like four in there, but they all disappeared with a single scan. Okay. I see how it is. Wait, that's the... Yes! Okay, so the Calaverite ones look like uh, sandstone. I know what I'm looking for now. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Whoa! Come back here, friend. New creature discovered. Warning. 
Alright, we need to leave. It's it's pointing to the Delta Station dock. Okay. That's cool. They're like like navigation things. Neat. Inventory full. Ah jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kind of cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Oh, touching that is bad. Oh, that's that's bad. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. I knew that was going to happen eventually. You can't just surface wherever now. You got to be careful. No, I'll leave the poor people alone. Alright, let's see what this guy may turn your stomach because it's a spinner fish. Okay. Uh, we need to make. We still need um, another table coral sample. Damn it. Okay. Uh, take my lithium. I completely forgot that I needed another table coral. I was so focused on the uh, the gold. It should be table coral in here, right? No, not right. I thought cave meant table coral. I already have the graph trap. Like, that's definitely a pangling egg, right? There's a table coral.
oxygen. We're fine. Habitat Builder. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been streaming for about two hours. I need to give my eyes a little bit of a break. So I will be back in a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I wish I could leave the, the game. No power. Oh, it starts without a battery. Okay. I guess I need another battery. Which means I need copper. I was going to say, uh, I wish there was sound while the game was paused. Because I basically have to leave the game paused. Otherwise, my character starts losing um, thirst and hunger. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's grab the quartz. But I hate just leaving it as, like, dead silence. Alright, could I get some copper, please? Warning. 30 seconds of That's, oxygen remaining. Well, gave me titanium anyway, so I guess that didn't matter. Finally. Oh, crap. There we go. I would like to make one more battery if I could. God, that requires copper too. Okay. This is going to be a bit tricky. That also requires copper. It used to require table coral though. I appreciate that it doesn't. That's actually not hard to make. Okay. Okay, um, we need copper, so let's try and get some. Don't care about the titanium. What if I just sit in here? Oh, it forces you out, okay. <laughs> I wondered if it would, like, trap me or something until the plant reset.
I got room for one more. Nice. Okay. Hi, Blaze. So far, this seems to be a great improvement on your Saturdays. Yes. Oh, oh, Blaze. Can you recognize this voice? Uh... Wait. Oh, here we go. Uh... Yeah. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Yeah, you recognize it. Just like I did. I couldn't figure out who it was. I had to look her up. But you know the voice. Not here to hurt anybody. Do you want me to tell you? I don't like that it's nighttime. I need I need it to be day. Please, super spacing on the name. It is Ashley Williams from Mass Effect. She voices, that's the player character, that's who I'm playing as, the person who was talking. Yeah, like, as soon as she started talking, I was like, oh, cool, our character gets a voice. Wait, I know that voice. I know, I know that voice. Who is that? Y'all are so loud. You sound like a damn Leviathan. We need air before I get get set about building. Oxygen. I know. Uh, game? That was weird. Oh, I think that that guy might have, like, come at me and it kind of messed with the physics a bit. Okay, there's no need for that. Dude, I will cut you. Thank you. There is no, no call for that sort of behavior. Decreased. Don't build another one. We're gonna... Oh, I've got to figure out this battery situation.
I didn't bring a beacon. I meant to bring a beacon. There we go. Ah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Give me a blueprint. No? No blueprint? Alright then. Shut up. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to make another solar panel immediately. We need a fabricator. Oh, it won't fit here anymore. I don't want to put it there. Wiring kit, copper wire. I didn't actually bring silver. Okay. Alright, so now I can actually see... Well, actually, first... I don't have the quartz. Okay. Why did I bring the sulfur? Okay, there's quartz around here. That's good. Can you all just... You're not the same. You're different. No, come back here. I need to scan you. It's unpowered. My scanner is unpowered. Ah, get away from me. Warning. 30 seconds. <laughs> it helps if your scanner has power. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, all right. We need to look for limestone deposits. To get battery power. Limestone and then that other thing, Argentite deposits. Well, there's the Argentite. Okay, I have lots of inventory room. Warning. 30 seconds of right, because I'm below 100 meters. It goes down really fast. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I know, I know. Alright, well we can build a locker. So first things first. Do that. I miss the old gulping sound for the water. I don't like the slurp. Hoping if we get back to shallow water, we'll get more uh, limestone. Y'all gotta chill. Oh, come on. A crash fish right there? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. No limestone over here? I'll take the quartz. This is rough. I don't have enough battery power, but I can't make a, a thing without copper. 
and silver. I may have to swim all the way back, which is a problem because I don't have the battery power to power my uh, Sea Glide. Here we go. I feel like I've been getting really unlucky. Just mostly getting titanium. I don't need lead. Hi, Rock Puncher. Oxygen. There we go. That's one. I'm going to stop using my Sea Glide for now. Conserve the power. We're near the surface. And mostly exploring this little bit anyway. Lead. Silver. There we go. Okay, so that's the second piece of silver I needed for the wiring kit. Now I just need one more piece of copper. I mean, actually I need like 50 more pieces of copper, but... I will settle for one more piece of copper. That's a sea truck fragment. Um, There we go, we got copper. Can you chill? Thank you. I guess you don't have to hit them. If you just avoid them long enough, they chill out. That looks gross. Oxygen. Oh, wait, no, no. Don't use the sea glide. Conserve the sea glide for when you're diving in the deeper water for now. Oh, he's punching the rock. Oh, that was a little. Oh! Okay, dude. I just want to break your rock. Thank you for the silver. Oh, I think he broke. Oh, no, he didn't. He's just chilling out. <laughs> Quartz. I'm betting touching the purple will hurt. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Is that a creature? It is. For science, I will investigate this. Juvenile? Okay, let's just get down to the base. Warning. 
warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Wait, let me make wiring kit and copper wire. Good. Wiring kit. Battery charger. Ah, this I can put here. I'll put it over here. Finally, battery charger. <laughs> oh, power is going down. Okay. Can I make another solar panel? Yes. Let's do that. I feel so much better having a base, having power, having a battery charger. <laughs> okay. Um, we got water. Now, what all do I have blueprints for? Thermos, don't need to worry about that. I do need to make a repair tool. Hmm. And bring any rubber with me, though. Still need another mobile vehicle bay fragment, still need another sea truck fragment. I should make a beacon, so I still need more copper. Um, I would like to build a bioreactor in here. I need lubricant for that. Could use another battery charger. I can literally make Fred's bed specifically. <laughs> Wouldn't mind making an aquarium. Yeah, oh yeah, we definitely need the bioreactor because it's nighttime, power is dropping fast. All right. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to wait because I need those batteries charged before I start going anywhere. I guess I could unload this, make a trip back, gather more stuff. Whoa! Whoa! They look like, uh, um, Warning. Passing 100 meters. oh, what's it called? Efficiency decreased. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I really hate being out this far. Oxygen. Oh, I'm not making it. I am not making it. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a shark. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I did it. Holy crap. Oh, 
Oh, where am I though? Oh no. Kyogre, that's it. Yeah, thank you. I swam out way too far. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus. I know where I am now. <laughs> I can breathe. This time, I will try to remember to grab a freaking beacon to take back. So I don't have this problem again. Okay, let's convert these into a more manageable thing. Inventory is full. Okay. Um, we can pass on the salt. Gotta have the beacon. Let's grab a gold. Actually, let's drop off some of this titanium. And we're gonna try and get some copper while we're here, because it's easy to get over here. Actually, real quick, I do want to look up or look at the uh, the info on the sky whale. Oh, the the sea the giant the glow whale was what it was called. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Bizarre fish, are like fins, capable of very high speeds and straight lines, slow by turning circle. Like other small prey fish, they feed on a variety of seeds and grasses. Leviathans, glow whale. Low whales are communal, communal leviathans, approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in the open ocean, occasionally breaching the surface. Whales contain several types of bioluminescence. Perhaps the most noteworthy are their photophores, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corners of their eyes and the pods at the tips of their small sail-like pectoral fins. The horns, blue horns behave similarly to tuning forks. Horns receive waves of sound in the water, help the whale identify members their pod from a distance. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> there we go. The sensibility is also used in hunting shoals to determine the positioning of potential food sources. 
Pods wells are at play. They emit a harmonious series of notes that resonate in their horns or a series of chemicals that appear to create a joyful response in nearby whales. Notes frequencies are too high to be heard by human ears. Passive, harbors barnacles and algae. Okay. And then we also had the vent garden. 20 meters long, juvenile vent garden represents the immature stage of life of the fully grown, established vent garden. Gentle giant appears to swim in aimless, looping circles around mature vent gardens. Swimming. While the swimming can seem directionless at first, the young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. Bell. The bell of the garden remains sealed until it anchors. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Okay, interesting. All right, so I think this is the new version of the sea moth. Hypothermia imminent. Okay. Sorry, character, I had reading to do. Sorry, Robin. Let's grab these. Oh! Surface banglings. I never scanned a bangling. Wait, I can... I can pick it up. <laughs> I can't pick up the big ones, though. I can pick up the little penglings. That was so cute. Yeah, they're adorable. Oh, oh, Blaze, let me show you the, the sea monkeys. There should be one around here. Let me let me surface and get some uh, oxygen. Kind of creepy, but cute. There should be a sea monkey around here. Oh, also giant whole fish. Hello, friend. Where is a sea monkey? They're never around when you want them. Oh, that's one. Look at this. And watch. They take your shit. <laughs> if you're holding something, when one swims up to you, they take it. <laughs> you have to grab it back. And then he waved goodbye. They're so cute.
let's eat this. Try and get one more piece of copper. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go back. This way. Never mind the roaring. Totally harmless, as long as you keep swimming away from the roaring. <laughs> they can't harm you if you don't allow them to harm you. <laughs> Now we just follow the island, staying near the surface to keep getting air. There we go, okay. I think I can just go straight through to the base. Nope, caught. There we go. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, inventory's full. Um, damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I think I just deleted that battery from existence. Oh no, there we go, okay. Uh, what did I want to make? This. I needed a wiring kit. Do I have the silver? Yes. The lights flickering when I do that is very alarming. I don't have enough titanium in my inventory because I put it all in my uh, storage. Wait, I can't. Ah, that was an unpleasant noise. Can you not put these side by side anymore? Oh, there we go. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hey, it actually faces the bioreactor to you now. Okay, I don't have anything to put in it, but we have it. Ah, full batteries again. It's so nice. All right, get all of this out of here. And we can finally put the beacon down. Home. All right, I can scan this guy. 
squid shark. I want to see the data bank for the squid shark. Oh, pangling too. Young penguins. Wait, but I couldn't scan the penguin. Oh, because I've already scanned penguins. Okay. Squid shark never questions what it is. So it's almost exclusively fish originated by adults. Stay in the center of huddle. Stay warm. Separate from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for the young penguin. So please don't do this. Ah, do not. Do not steal the panglings, or the adults will follow you. Leviathan-class predator, but he's not listed under leviathans. At the smaller end of the scale, but... Okay. With complex squid-like adaptations, which allow it to hunt a wide range of prey. Expel swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet propulsion or terrifying bursts of speed. Internal jaw can be extended and clamped down around small prey, dragging them inside the mouth hole. Two blue electrified tentacles drag beneath its body, used to perform hit and run attacks on larger, slower targets, or doing them over time. Oh, I bet you they attack your vehicle. We have a need of water. Here. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. K I can't grab it. Fine. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Don't like that. Free battery right there, that would have been nice to have. Laser cutter fragment. Oh, oh, oxygen thing. Wait, is that. Oh, I can't get through there. Rude. Need laser cutter to get through there. Warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Time to leave. Oh, it's cooked. Well, that's useless. You can't put cooked food in the in the bioreactor, can you? Oh, you can. Nice. All right, let's continue exploring. See how far in here we can get. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. 
This just leads back out on this side, okay. And I can't fit... Oh, no, I can. Okay. Seek fluid intake. This is why I built the base here. I'm hoping one of these containers will have water in it. Oh, there were two nutrient blocks in there. Huh. Warning. 30 seconds of Shit. oxygen remaining. I need a bigger oxygen tank. I think I might just make a second oxygen tank. Oxygen. We got some water. Vital signs stabilizing. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. This is just a way out. Okay. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Can I, I can't swim through here. Looks like there's a way in from above. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. can't. There's nothing to swim through there. Through the doorway, please. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. But I don't have a laser cutter. I don't have the, the blueprint. I've only found two fragments. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, there's an area back here. Okay. Grab that, but get out. It didn't give me the 30 second warning, but I need to go. Oxygen. No problem. That sound is really starting to worry me. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is how you get into this room. Okay. Uh, I can't click on the oxygen plant. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, we're in here now. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with. Beautiful. And no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but... I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. I do not need all of these nutrient blocks. Also, that was cute. That was a... Uh... Cute little bit of story. Okay, I need to see if I can find vehicle fragments. Do not get hit by that. I should save. Haven't saved in a bit. I don't really want to go any deeper. I'm already past a hundred. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I still need to find one more mobile vehicle bay fragment. And one more truck fragment. I'm going to keep going around the island, or the this landmass. Unless it, like, suddenly drops off into nothing. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I never picked up one of the discus fish. New creature discovered. There we go. New creature discovered. Hello. Excuse me.
thought I saw something there. See, this, this alarms me. Sudden drop-offs into deep water, not a good sign. Oh, there's a bunch of rock crabs here. Rock punchers. Thank you for the warning. I was not paying attention. Is that... What is that? Don't know. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Wait, that's Delta Station Dock? So this is a different island over here. This is an iceberg. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. She says, and I immediately jump up onto this. <laughs> I want up there. I'm very alarmed at how deep this water is. How do I get up on this thing? Because there's something up there. I see that. Oh, I think that's just a fungus thing. Still. Also, I definitely heard something as I was climbing out of the water, and I'm very scared to get back in. To be honest. Let's, uh, let's save. Hi, Pangling. Oh, okay, that's what I heard. Probably. That's real, real dark. Something pulsing over there. There's a bunch of whole fish. Back for two minutes, check if Coma is here. Coma is here. It's gonna grab them toes.
I haven't scanned you. Been here the whole fish time. That's a bunch of whole fish all over the place. Oh. This is not what she's referring to, I don't think. Oh, it's getting dark. I don't like that it's getting dark. It's bad enough that I can't see down there. Are you a rock grub? You are. You can pick up rock grubs? Huh. Neat. Small edible? Okay. Oh, no, that's the discus fish. Rock grub. Inedible grub. Hey, how's it going? Going pretty good. I am enjoying the hell out of this game. How about you? Oh, God. Okay, there we go. This might be the one she was talking about that has the... the Hollow interior. I don't want to go all the way down there, though, if that's where the entrance is. Oh! Oh, there's glowiness going on over there. Oh, hey! A way onto the iceberg. What are you? Hi, Jelly. You don't... Oh, you're the things I saw pulsing. You don't seem hostile. Oh, that's an eyeball. I see. I understand how you got your name. Yeah, let's, uh... Have I scanned you? You look like... Oh, you're going way too far down for me to chase you. Uh... Yeah, I've scanned you. Okay. Alright, let's sit here and read some databank entries while we wait for the sun to come back. Finacrid, intelligent, curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline, turns surface to breathe. Oh, okay. Many flippers make it an acrobatic hunter underwater, but vulnerable on land, or is capable at best of. Oh, so that you can see them on land. Okay. Jungle consumes small fish. Side facing eyes unusual for a predator. Serves a defense warning system. Purple on tinted antenna on head, detect movement of prey fish. Shows no aggression towards human and even curiosity if there is a chance of a meal. Assessment friendly. Hi, Jelly. So resides in deep waters, made of three distinct body sections, tentacles, main body, and the bell. And tentacles covered by elusive nodes. Also touch the main shock, so do not touch the tentacles. And these harpoon-like structures. Alright, just like a jellyfish. Gently drift a little locomotion. They can track movement with their large, singular eye. So they can look at you. Arrowway, arrow ray, relatively small ray species, feeds on plankton, vins on its head, form an isosceles triangle, which you can tilt to perform fast. Oh, I'm freezing. I 
Okay, there we go. Counter to uh, reality, being underwater actually warms you up here. Basically, if you can breathe, you start freezing. If you're warm, you can't breathe. <laughs> Sharp forward, fin tips capable of spearing attackers who manage to catch up. Mostly harmless. Oh, so they can damage you. Okay. Rock grub. Small scavenger. Yada, yada. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. 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 Sir, you are flying. They're following me. I don't like that. Imagine you're in the ocean, the whole eye is just there looking at you. That can make sense, depending on the temperature of the water. I mean, I assume the water is, is very cold. Imagine the cost of contact lenses, yeah. He's the disco fish. There is a structure up here. Okay. Are we going to meet... Uh, Prawn suit lady? I don't need all this food. Oh, neat. Wait, am I picking up snow? I am. Wait. It's a snowball. I can throw it. Uh, I was really hoping to find something to warm up with. Yeah, thank you. Do not want giant eyeballs. Was that something on the table? I'm I'm gonna head back. I just I was hoping for some kind of like warming thing, but uh No luck. Oh the eye does follow you. Oh, that's uncomfortable. They really do just stare at you. I need to find a source of heat up here. Nothing on the table. Oh, no, this. Jukebox disc. Jukebox disc. Wait, is this a source of heat? Yes, yeah, steam vent. Nice. What happens if you touch it? The, the jelly? Nothing. Uh, I assume the tentacles hurt if I touch them, but the jelly itself doesn't seem to uh, cause any harm. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. I can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me some eyes out, 
We detected something, almost like an SOS. Air Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. What? I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. No such luck. This is architect technology right here. All right, let's surface. Oxygen. Can I run along this? I can. Can't scan it. Oh, I didn't want you to lead back into the water. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's deep here. Oh, okay, that's a sea monkey. This isn't that deep. This is just a kelp forest. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I just followed that for nothing. I think you're supposed to find it here and you follow it up to the surface and it leads you to the island, the the iceberg that I was on. Will going in this cave help warm me up? Yes, cool. Also use some water. I'm going to hit something with the snowball. It's going to happen. I like finding all this titanium. Or, uh, not titanium, but, um, limestone outcrops. Lots of chances of copper. Get wrecked.
Ow. Okay, so we're back over here. Hmm, they only periodically provide heat. Come on. Only very periodically. That's not good. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Feels weird actually seeing stuff above water. Yeah. It's, it's, this is kind of one of the things I was really hoping for, though. It's, um, it's like the islands. Can I, I can throw the snowball while underwater. <laughs> it's like the islands, but there's more to explore. I like that. Oh, I can push it. So glad there's not a stamina bar and I can just sprint as much as I like. Is that a new thing to scan? It is. Fevered pepper tree. Body heat plus 34. Okay. And a lot of water. Nice. I'm definitely going to want a grow bed for those. I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to build a base on land as well. Um, I don't really need the rock grub. Sorry, little dude. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Spy Pangling! Oh, I can't get through there. You need the Pangling to do it. New technology acquired. Spy Pangling are creating so many new research opportunities, perfect for exploring tight spaces. Bucket Pangling can't carry much, but in bonus local thought, I seem to generally ignore them. Nice. So you can use the <coughs> oh, so you can use the spy pangling to uh, go into small places like that cave over there, or to um, 
go into dangerous places where the fauna uh, is too much for you to handle. No, vent. Vent. No. They keep fading as soon as I get to them. I'm just going to stand on this one. Wait, okay. Is that one steaming or vain? Whenever I'm not looking at it? Yeah. But it doesn't produce any heat. Okay, I don't want to eat that beacon. I want to know what's making that thudding noise. No fox hover pad fragment. Hover pad deployable pad equipped with two articulating arms for rapid snow fox assembly and repair. All right. That's not Altera. Sam loved working here. She told me so. That looks like a land speeder to me. scientist is more at home with these penguins. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains of the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many. This must have been Sam's room. Oh no! But something's not right. You interrupted it. Damn it. Sapient life. Hey Sam, Lillian wanted a hint. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicky down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penguins. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains of the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but... It's never dull. This must have been Sam's room. But combined with a frozen water. Oh source, my god. I just want to listen. It can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Just want to listen to the things. Room. But something's not right. Okay. Well, 
make Sam sped. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. An aquarium that still has all the fish. Hover ball. Actually, mindfulness is a leader. Team is a sponge. Just waiting to suck up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot. Oh my god. Oh, God. Power to saturate your team with soothing, warmth, and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who you follow with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. This is powerful mindfulness. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that hurts to read. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't access the aquarium. Okay. How do you make it? Spy pangling remote. Spy pangling. So cute. Snow stalker fur? What is a snow stalker? I have the uh, sneaking suspicion that I'm going to find out what a snow stalker is pretty much as soon as I leave this area. This little cave. <laughs> the hell? Oh, it's fiber mesh. You know what? I don't need these. Sorry, fish. That's an alien gate. large room okay interesting cell charger oh <laughs> you brought a friend 
spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. Strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. <sighs> if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penguins. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Well, I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Yeah, that didn't go well. The fridge. Can I keep my snowballs in there? Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. So, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen leviathan. I investigated and... You investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. <laughs> Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has our safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I was really hoping to get like a vehicle fragment <laughs> here. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. But I guess those are water things and you'll find them in the water. Alright, so we're definitely gonna find an alien structure that'll teleport us back here. My inventory is so full. Steam vent. Thank you. Oh. That's a hole to fall down. How do I get down there safely? Probably not by sprinting around it. Oh, here we go.
So this is definitely where the Leviathan is, right? Yeah, pretty sure that's it. <laughs> but we'll go there second. Oh, this leads outside. Okay. Good to know. Skeleton bones cannot scan. All right, we'll come back. Also, I've realized the thumping is the icicles falling. Oh, no, this isn't. This is just frozen stuff. Okay. So, yeah, we'll keep going this way. I'm very curious what the Leviathan will be. I'm wondering if it'll be one that we know from the first game. Or if it'll be uh, something new. I'm also wondering if it'll be an Emperor Leviathan that is infected. Because that would be bad news for everybody. Oh. Oh dear. That's, that's more hole. Oh wait, no, this is the same hole. What? No, I don't know. I see a ladder. Let me go down the ladder. This looks like the same hole. Okay, yeah, no, I just went in a giant circle. Okay. So this time we go left instead of right out of here. That just loops up and back around. We want to go further down. Oh, this leads to the water. Not a lot of curiosity. What's it like down here? Jesus. Dangerous, apparently. Oh, there's like a whole area in here. Interesting.
I am so incredibly lost. Internet had a seizure. Uh oh. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Pretty sure I saw something running up there. Alright, we need to get back to a cave. I just saw you were in that frozen cave. Yeah, I, this is one of the paths. Or one of the paths led. Imminent. That was not a rock. Yeah, hello. Uh Well, you're a jerk. Don't kill me. Uh medkit. You're a jerk. Did you know that? Okay. Okay, I think we can make it to a cave now. Oh boy, so I have to kill those <laughs> to get the fur I need to make the, the snowsuit? That's not going to be easy. Ow. First time you need to kill something for materials. Yeah, I'm actually thinking maybe you need the pangling, the uh, the robotic pangling, to uh, go into like its nest. No, there's another one. Hmm. 
No, it saw me. Struggling a little bit there, buddy. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Okay, yeah, you don't get anything from them for killing them. Except the safety of not being killed by one of them. <laughs> uh, do I want to jump down here? Sure, let's save first. Oh, okay, we're just down here. All right, so you do... Ooh. There's a little cave here. Yeah, so you probably have to use the, uh, the mechanical pangling, or penguin, to, uh, get their fur to make the, uh, the suit, the cold suit. But hey, now that it's daytime, you can actually navigate this area more easily. Well, not this part. Oh, it may not be daytime. I saw the light here and thought it was the surface and that it was day. Oh, but it looks like daytime out there. Danger. No, oh, come on. I just got out here. I'm starting to feel like the dangerous weather is tied to you reaching locations and not so much time. What's up here? Food. Mesh. Thing to make water with. Thing to make water with. Let's go in the cave. I don't want to leave until I find the frickin' Leviathan. Sweet. 
strange place for a security bunker. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. <laughs> the hell? Oh, it's, it's fur. Security cameras. That's a picture of a reaper. That's a sea dragon. Yeah, if I had more inventory room, I would take both those posters, but uh, inventory is kind of at a premium right now. Your truck got stuck. Is that? That's a sea moth. Oh no, it's not. I'm just an idiot. Oh goodness. That is not a leviathan we've seen before. Scanner. Necklace. Cutscene? Sam's necklace. She never took it. Of course, it sits in my inventory. Uh, eat a pepper. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and support. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosion. 
explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? Someone pushed her. It's like a frog with teeth. I'm gonna withhold uh, judgment till I get closer. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33. Morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creature still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you can talk to me. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! Rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. And long. So the Leviathan's definitely not really dead. And it definitely uh, caused a quake of some sort. Glass, I'll take it. Oh, now I've already got a spy pangling. Advanced wiring kit, I'll take it. Hang on, let's go to the upper one first, if I can. Almost as tall as Lady Dimitrescu. Uh, okay. Synthetic fibers. That's normally a lot harder to acquire. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, don't like that. Is that a Mars rover? Oh. Requires injectable container to function. I don't know what it is. No, I'm not. I am not touching it. <laughs> Wait. There was something. Oh, the Karab pustules. Well, time to stand on top of it and jump on its pustules. Yeah, so I'm thinking we might, uh, ow. We, um, either this is going to break free and be in the ocean, and that's a problem. Or there's another one. They, of course, had to excavate around the head, which would unfreeze the brain, which would allow it to wake up. That thing free in the ocean, yeah. Oof. Lubricant. Always nice to have some lube. That's a prawn suit. Oh, that's its hand. Oh, it's got legs. Normally they have tentacles. Uh, 
It's a land-based Leviathan. Some of these I want to look at. Snow Stalker, bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker. Oh, okay. So it's a land. It, it is a stalker. Okay. Typically, apex predators in the biomes operate in packs. Primarily land-based creatures will enter the water to hunt and defend territory. Good to know. Thick hollow fur that secretes a thin layer of oil. Keep it warm to claim it. Sorry. Modified dorsal fin aids in aquatic hunting. Bioluminescence of tongue and tail, help them stay together in winter storms. Void. Bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter them. Resources behind loser. Oh, I should have, like, hit the rock. Okay. destroy a base. Well, baselessly. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. She must have been upset, or rushed, or both. I can't believe for a minute she caused that cave to collapse by negligence, as they call not Sam. She had a plan. It just went wrong. One out of four. This is a full prawn suit. Why can't I s get the blueprint from this? Ah. Uh. Wait, did the head turn? No. Right? How do I get out of here? Oh, this way. I swear to God, if I come back here later and it's gone... Oh my god. The weather is really getting on my nerves. 
for its tendency to happen the instant I get into this area. Every single time. Acquired. Free power cell. I need shelter. Yeah. Steam vent. And it fades as soon as I look at it. Nope, that's not water. Shit. Uh, is that a cave? Nope, I'm gonna die. God, that's frustrating. When is my last save? Oh my god. Kept the necklace. I'm gonna load my last save. Oh, right, okay. I know where I am. I saved right before diving into here. Man, that's a while ago.
Let me guess. Terrible weather. Was only having clear skies so bad the first game. No, it was great. <laughs> this sucks. Like, really, it's just that every single time I come to this area right here with the trees, every single time I enter this area, bad weather is happening. And it just feels like it's designed to make navigating this area arbitrarily difficult. Sam died surrounded by destruction. I know my sister. She would never destroy a base. Well, facelessly. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. She must have been upset or rushed. Or both. I can't believe for a minute she caused that cave to collapse by negligence, as they called it. That's not Sam. She had a plan. It just went wrong. I'm just kind of speed running this part since I did all this before. Thank you. Hydrochloric acid. Um. I missed that the first time, so nice to get it.
Now we have the hot peppers, so should be fine. But I'm gonna save just in case. It didn't say dangerous weather, but still pretty sure. Yeah, our temperature is still dropping pretty fast. I don't know, maybe some areas are just dangerous. I see you, stalker. There better be something up here. There's nothing up here. That's not shelter. Dead end. I'm gonna friggin' die again. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Come on. Does this count? No, of course not. I ate it! I ate it! I can't... It fucking glitched! Are you kidding me? I left-clicked to consume it. And it picked it up. It picked it up and put it in my hand and then wouldn't let me put it back down or use it. At least I just saved. I'm going to grab that paracel and just try and leave. Because you've got, like, a minute of time to survive out here. It's the first aid kit. Is this the power cell? Uh. Also, there's thermal vents fucking everywhere, but they're not going off when I get to them. I was standing on a thermal vent up there when I froze to death.
Ah! Sucker. Jesus. Surface exploration is frustrating. Didn't see much about water gameplay when you're getting spoiled and everything. Yeah, the temperature struggles like it didn't seem so bad at first, but the fact that the steam vents are inconsistent, and you've got huge stretches with just no shelter at all, and the hot peppers like bad weather happens every few seconds. It feels like, and. Am I just... Where am I? Bad weather happens every few seconds, and it just drains your your meter instantly. I don't know where the hell I am. Okay. Approaching. Seek shelter. And vehicles seem to be extremely difficult to acquire. the titanium. I'm also just... I'm finding too much. There's just too much here. Alright, we got all our snow fox fragments at least. It's a pangling thing. What is that? No. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just this cave again. That. What is that sound? Is that him?
Oh god, I'm back here. Well, the steam vent ran out immediately. There. Cave to recover my temperature. At this point, I just want to get back home. I just want to leave. God, it's a stalker. There's something to scan here. Oh. I already have all those fragments. I also can't aim my sea glide flashlight down. Which is proving troublesome. Oh. Conveniently a ladder. Where even is home? It's over there. I just I'm trying to figure out how to get there. Oh snow. Oh wait, stalker fur. Nice. Okay, so like stalker teeth, you have to collect the stalker fur as it falls off of them. Also we're oh, these are babies. Alright, I'm just running in circles. I am so lost. It's so dark and so foggy and weather everywhere and I can't stay outside for long or I freeze to death. Every cave looks the same. Oh, I can scan this one, huh? I couldn't scan the others. Can you pick these up? No. Jump! That cave's a dead end. 
dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. It's finally daytime and I can see, and you're gonna give me dangerous weather so that I can't see again. What the hell? Oh. I, like, honestly, I feel like they made the land exploration just a little bit, a little bit too hard. Stop doing that with your hands, it looks weird. There's also apparently no way off this island except all the way back the way I came. My pinky is very tired of holding shift. It's a dead end that goes nowhere. What really sucks is like I don't remember the way I came. Okay, here we go. Should be a ladder, yeah. I just want to leave. We're fighting for freedom, yeah. I just, I just want to get off this rock. Oh crap, I think... Wait, no, okay, I think I'm going the right way. I 
Well, not up here. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. It's my last pepper. I think this is a dead end. No, this feels... I don't recall this at all. Okay, I think we've almost escaped. This should be water. Yes. Oh my god, finally. Alright, let's not waste daylight. I saw something. Let's save. We finally made it off the damn island. I think we'll be relatively safe as long as we stay close to the surface. I think we can get back home. It's them on the land. I don't have any food for you. Sorry, guys. Well, I guess I could uh, see how you feel about that. Not great, huh? They're little, uh, bird creatures that swim. They're apparently, like, actually friendly and, and 
uh, you can feed them, but I don't have anything to feed them with. It threw all my fish away. Character is pretty tall. Uh, I don't know how tall a character is. Alright, so this is the island that I was going around. Saw her in the shadow. Can't see my shadow right now. Oh, no, there it is. Let's head straight home. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Um Let's eat those. Empty a lot of this stuff out. Give me two titanium and a quartz because we need a new locker. Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders. The cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Still need to make the uh, gloves and helmet though. Okay, uh, I need to take another break for my eyes, but I'm not going to pause this time because I think we're doing okay on food and water and stuff, so uh, I'll be back in a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. I think my first goal is to find um, to find the ability to say words a vehicle fragment. Mobile vehicle bay and uh, sea truck fragments. That is my first priority. To facilitate this, let's use our scanner. Wait, that was it. Wait, what? Pending research. Pangling research. Oh, okay. I think the sea truck was a cool concept, but you're not a fan. Well, I know nothing about it right now, except it appears to replace the sea moth. Alligator boys, yeah. They're fine. You like their design, ah. Uh. Seriously, not a single fragment out here? Ooh. Multiple rock boys. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hang on. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. Sea truck fragment. Still need mobile vehicle bay, though. New technology acquired. Oh, dang. We just go ahead and get the uh, blueprints for the upgrade modules. Nice. Seconds of oxygen remaining. glide fragment. Well, at least as I scan them, they go away. Ooh, there's a thing down there. Not gonna go there yet, though. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'll take that. Oh, whoops. There we go. We gotta be careful. Not to accidentally right click. Mobile vehicle bay. Oxygen. All right, so let's see what these require. Advanced wiring kit, glass, lead, power cell. Good. We got we got all that. Um, enameled glass, ooh, and then where is mobile vehicle bay? Janium lubricant, okay. So we for sure need um, table coral, probably need some lead. And then let's grab a seed cluster just because I have inventory room. Table coral is a lot harder to find. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen. 
Oxygen. No! Oh god. You can eat the seed clusters now? They give you oxygen when you eat them. Huh. Interesting. They grow so near the surface, though, I don't know why you'd ever want that. I scanned you. Scanned you. Oh, crash fish egg. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen. I would like to get out of here now. There we go. That's where I want to go. This area here is thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Basically, the safe shallows. Okay, inventory's full. Let's go. Computer chip. Can I make that? Gold copper wire. No. Okay. Uh, we don't need the creature egg. Man, I broke open all those things and I got one copper. That's annoying. Okay. I want to go back to my, uh, my other base. The, the way the outcrops work now, the fact that each one is a chance at one valuable resource or uh, one titanium, on the one hand, prevents you from getting full on lead all the time. But on the other hand, I have so much titanium.
I'm really hoping the uh, the sea truck can go to at least 300 feet or 300 meters, not just 200. All right, let's get one last breath of air and head straight home. Oxygen efficiency decreased. All right, let's turn this into lubricant. And then I've got some gold, right? Yeah. Gold and copper wire. Let's make our computer chip. And what else do I need? Titanium ingot. I have one of those, right? Yes. Okay, and then to make the sea truck, titanium ingot, advanced wiring kit, two glass, three lead, titanium ingot, advanced wiring kit, Two glass and three lead. All right. Uh, Time to explore the ocean for real, exactly. Subnautica opened up so mu opens up so much once you get the sea moth. Jeffrey, Billy, Sam Weiss, and Marshall. Oh, I didn't grab the power cell. Whoops. I feel dumb. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't have the blueprint for a power cell charger, do I? Oh no, it did only take one scan. And it only takes an advanced wiring kit, two lithium and two titanium? Oh, that's so much better than before where it took friggin' rubies. What does advanced wiring kit take? Just wiring kit and computer chip. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's totally doable. Go from thing the Aurora is scary to being terrified 800 meters below. Yep. Uh oh. Mobile vehicle bay does not have a beacon. 
so I gotta be careful. Remember where this is. like to enter the sea truck, please? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, it uses two power cells. Interesting. 150 meters? Are you kidding? Oh, and it's slow as shit. Oh, this is a significantly worse worse sea moth. Oh my god. Warning. Oxygen 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency degrees. Wow. And you can't you can't get into it from any angle like the sea moth. You have to get into it specifically from the top. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that feels a lot less worth it now. Um, what does it take to make the upgrade module? Plastic steel ingot and two enameled glass. I don't even know where to get enameled glass. Oh, it takes diamond. Glass, lead, and diamond. Okay. I have a plasteel ingot, so I guess... Okay, well... I guess it could be worse. At least I don't have to worry about oxygen. Does it go on land at least? Maybe maybe that's the thing? No, it is the sea truck. Aquatic vehicle. Yeah. Slow as dirt. Yeah, this is... This is bad. Maybe there's speed upgrades. I hope there are. Chip. Okay. Lithium titanium. All right. And watch that power go down too. Yeah, yeah, that's about the speed it goes, is walking in the prawn suit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining.
Well, all the lithium I could ever want. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Seek fluid intake. Oxygen. Okay, I thought I dropped it for a second. Oh my god, I am so tired of getting titanium. I don't need this much titanium right now. Is this a dead rock crab? No, it was just floating. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How could I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, well I didn't really mean to find this down here, but sure. Seek fluid intake immediately. Ah, damn it. All right. I guess it's about the speed of... Ah, sorry, fish. About... About the speed of swimming with a sea glide. So I'm not... I'm not going slower, at least. At least I don't think I am. Yeah, the Cyclops was extremely slow, but at least, like, it was armored, it had use, it, it was... Had a lot of defenses, it had a lot of features. It was basically a mobile base. I expect a mobile base to be slow. Oh, I loved the Cyclops. I loved the, the concept of the mobile base. All right, we need some bladder fish. I 
because I haven't found another source of water. Is going top speed in your web swing, Prawn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mostly used the uh, the Cyclops as a way to haul massive amounts of materials out of the um, vital signs stabilizing. The... Oh, what's the the Lost River? I would uh. I would park it next to the uh, portal to... Well, actually, no, I, I would just take it down into the Lost River, park it in a safe spot, and then use my prawn suit to go out and collect materials and stuff. Also designed to make your base in safe shallow, so it wasn't the easiest thing to navigate. Give yourself a bad experience. I knew what was coming in the first game, so I made my base. Uh, I made multiple bases in relatively decent spots. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, you decided. Ah. Uh. That space you made was next to the Sea Treader's Path. Ah, I don't go there very much, the Sea Treader's Path. I basically only end up there when I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going. But I know it was one hill away from... Oh, yeah. Ghost Leviathans are one of my favorite creatures, though. I love the sound they make. It's so good. Them and the, uh, the crab squids are make my favorite sounds in the game. Sorry, fish. Only wish the ghost had better animations. Yeah, all the all the long snake creatures kind of had a, a bad habit of um, curling in on themselves and looking very weird.
The Reaper wouldn't be nearly as scary. Oh, like the fact that he grabs you? Yeah, the Ghost Leviathan just rams you. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What am I making? Oh, I want to make an advanced wiring kit. I didn't get any table coral. Oh, no, it, it, okay. Wait, you can select previous with F. I keep forgetting that. This thing is not super useful since you can't use it in the sea truck. It'd be nice if you could. I guess I'll go, well, I'll save first. Dragon Leviathan got the worst in your opinion. Swimming animation. Yeah, it's not great. See, I'm already at the almost maximum depth. That's so annoying. This thing can't go any deeper than I can. Yeah, the map clipping. I'm hoping that's something they fixed in this game. Because the map clipping was really bad. I've seen Reapers just swim all the way through the ground. Also, Table Coral is really hard to find now. I feel like it doesn't need to be. Bed Reapers pull you into the gun. Structure multiple times. Oh. Nothing you can do about that unless you have a recent save. Yeah. Hopefully it's worked out in this one, yeah. Yeah, I haven't fallen through the ground yet, so that's that's a good sign. That's a sea truck fragment, pretty sure. Like, I could swim down here with the sea glide. This is only very slightly extending my exploration range.
Sea truck might as well be a big yeah, it might as well be a big O2 tank. Especially since I don't have a rebreather. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. So my oxygen is fading at like double the speed down here. Lots of resources, but those are like resources aren't hard to come by so far anyway that's just a sea truck fragment more titanium warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining I see that you're supposed to like attach stuff to the back. So maybe eventually it gets better. More useful. Whoa, shit, shit. Oh, there's something down here. Eventually you'll be driving a full limo. Rebreather, thank goodness. Ooh. Oh, that's in the game. This is this is very dangerous. I need to I'm going to drown if I keep doing doing this. What does a rebreather take? I also need to make a repair tool. Okay, I got all that stuff back into base. Um, can't forget the main priority. That's wiring kit. Okay, I think I think we're good. Um, what's my inventory looking like? Okay, I think we can afford to just grab resources. And then head back. So I'm just gonna run around and get a million titanium. Pick it up. Listen, shark, if you could chill. Yeah. <laughs> 
running. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. These oxygen, oxygen plants are pretty nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. To home we go. Ah, damn it. I see this is still just as fragile as the sea moth. I could have sworn I picked up more lithium. Well, there's plenty around. I say, and then immediately can't find any. I guess lithium is more in the, uh, the thermal vent area. Oh no, there's some.
Okay, we can go back home. All right, so I think the next step would be to make the depth module. Which I, I'm going to be so mad if that depth module is like, allows you to go to 200 meters and the sea truck can just never actually go anywhere that I couldn't swim normally. Oh wait, the rebreather is what I should make next. Wiring kit, fiber mesh, silicon rubber. Fiber mesh, silicon rubber. Silver for a wiring kit. We'll go to 160 meters. I would scream. <laughs> the rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. The freedom. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it here. I'm starting to feel some eye strain, and I don't think breaks are going to help a whole lot with that at this point. But we got a lot done. We got the first vehicle. We explored a whole bunch. We saw the uh, giant frozen leviathan. Countered a lot of creatures. Died several times with hypothermia. Uh, sometimes through no fault of our own, when I had a pepper in my inventory and it wouldn't let me eat it. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, not sure when. Got to do some grocery shopping in the afternoon. But after that, I'll be back with more of this tomorrow. Till then, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting, Coma. And have a good day.